Welcome back for another episode of the Ultimate Duck Boat Build 2.0. We've got the Four Rivers Refuge Runner here, and we've done quite a bit with it since we got it. We put hydro turf in, did nav lights, a light bar, got the old stern light put in, and uh, oh yeah, can't forget, we got the motor ready to go. So today we're gonna do the part that I absolutely hate doing, but it's very important. We gotta wire everything up to be able to hook into our battery box that we made earlier this summer. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, get to working on this. I'm gonna be using some 14 gauge wire and I've got a bunch of different connectors and then to hold everything in place, I'm using these little 3M stick pads so you can run a zip tie through there and hold your wires in place. So that's what I'm gonna be using. It seemed to work really well in the other boat so we're gonna do it here on this refuge runner. Let's go ahead and get started, boys. Just like on the last project, I'm gonna be using these little spade connectors. They actually have heat shrink on them too, so I'll be able to heat shrink them once they're all put together. So I'm gonna put all the female ends on all the components and then put the male ends on the wiring. So I think the way I'm gonna be wiring this up is the nav lights, the front and the rear are gonna be on the same switch. The light bar is gonna be on a switch and the interior lights are going to be on its own switch. So. I've got three plugs in my battery box. I've got three switches. I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. And then if I need to run the bilge pump, I will actually have to unplug one of them. I mean, by the time I'm using the bilge, the sun's probably up, so it's probably no big deal to unplug one of these lights. Here we've got the wires for the light bar. I'm gonna go ahead and strip these out just a little bit more. And then we've got our little connector here. Boom. So here's what we got. We got the light bar right here. Then we've also got the front nav lights wired up um, with the connectors. So now we got to do the LED strip lights right here. And we got to do this light back here. We'll go ahead and start this light bar or the LED strip lights. more teeny tiny wires at least that one will strip but i don't have to use a razor blade all right we got all the connectors on i'm gonna have all the wires run to about this point in the boat so i need to take the led light strip which is in this corner we're going to run it down and along the bottom edge of the boat here and come to this point we've got the nav light in the back we'll go ahead and have that run across and down and then the front lights will run across and down gotta make sure i use the male ends on all of them just go a little long okay there's that nav light done i like using these connectors because they go together really easily and like if i have a problem with something like let's say you know maybe a connection's bad or a, i don't know i need to replace something it just seems like these are gonna be really easy to deal with. And I like easy things. Red to red. And black to black. Before we get too crazy on everything, I do wanna make sure that we get these shrunk on there. It's a great thing about these connectors is they're, uh, they shrink, they're heat shrink. Now we get to go ahead and work on uh, getting these sticky pads put on there. So we've got 3M backed. All we gotta do is peel it and stick it where we want it. And then you take your old zip tie. I guess I'll show you guys where you can see it. So it's a little cube thing. You can run your zip tie through and then you're gonna zip tie your wires to it. So they're pretty nifty little things. If you guys remember from the previous boat build, I made this battery box to power everything in the boat. And so it's got a bunch of different switches on it. It's got USB plugs, a cigarette outlet, a voltmeter, and uh, three accessory plugs here on the side. So I'm gonna run the wires the same way I did on the other boat where I'm gonna be using the male end that will plug into the female end on the box. And so to do that, I'm going to need to attach them to these wires down here. So I've got two, I need to grab one more. And if you guys are curious about any of the stuff I'm using in these videos, 
I'll try my best to link as much as, as I can down in the description. So like this, I bought these for the female end and the male end. I just snip them, use the female on the box and the male on the boat. So that's what we're gonna be doing here today. Okay, I think I've got everything hooked up correctly. So we'll go ahead and hook all of these up to the battery. And the battery's just gonna kind of sit right beside me when uh, I'm sitting in the boat. So I am gonna do a little bit of cleanup work and make sure I get all these connections white tight and right. But there we go, we got master power on. All the switches are on, let's see. Let's see if everything's working. And there we go. You can see that light there in the back is on. The light bar is on and the front nav light is on. So everything's working. Interior lights are working as well. Oh, I hate doing this wiring stuff. It's always a pain in the butt, but I think I'd got it done pretty good. I do need to do a little bit of cleanup work. So I'm gonna get that taken care of, show you guys that and all the ways that I ran the wires and then we'll come out this evening and turn everything on and show you guys. Come and take a look and see how this looks inside the boat. So you can see that I ran the wire from the nav light back there across. I met with the wire for the strip lights, went down, followed that crack all the way down to the battery box right there. I did a little bit of cleanup work on the connections there. Just kind of wrapped them in electrical tape. And you can see that's following that crack there. And in here, the nav light up front and the light bar. So it did go pretty smooth. I'm happy with how it's looking so far. Just the boat as a whole, it just looks really good. So we got nav light, light bar, rear nav light, and uh, the transom is on. I mean, this thing's pretty, pretty close to being done just within, within a few project days. So I'm happy with how it's turning out. It's very similar to what I did on the other boat, but um, kind of upgrading a few features on it, like the light bar is definitely bigger and better. The nav light that I installed is an LED and not a halogen. So that's pretty good stuff here. So I'm, I'm very pleased with how this is turning out. So let's go ahead and wait till the sun goes down and see what it all looks like. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and flip some switches here and see what it all looks like. There's our green LED light strips on the inside. <laughs> it's actually pretty dang sweet. Uh, it's just gonna be really nice to have this. So then when I'm trying to get cameras put together or pulling things out of my bag, like I can actually see what I'm doing. So that's gonna be so awesome to have. And then of course we've got our nav lights, front and rear. And let's see what this light bar's got in it. Oh yeah, baby. That thing is gonna work out pretty dang good. I've got a feeling. So there we go. There's our, there's our lights. They look dang good. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be the ticket. And then in here, you can see the, the battery box we got. So you can kind of turn everything off, turn it on. All these, with all these switches here. And there's our master. And then we can turn these on for our USB plug. So charging phones or camera batteries or whatever. That's just gonna be kind of handy. Don't know how much I'll actually use it, but that'll be handy. Same with this 12 volt deal, so. That'll work out good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.